Hey sleepers, Keith here from Tuck. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Bear Hybrid Mattress. Bear makes mattresses for folks with an active lifestyle with recovery in mind and cellulite in the cover, but how does it stack up to Tuck's test? Keep watching to find out. Helping us test the mattress today, we have lightweight sleeper Rachel, average weight sleeper Charles, and heavyweight sleeper Neil. To unbox the Bear Hybrid mattress, grab a friend and bring the box to its final destination. Take the roll packed mattress out of the box, cut the plastic, and give it about 12 to 24 hours for it to expand to its full height. This is a 14 inch hybrid mattress. The cover is made from quilting salient fabric into two inches of gel foam. A salient is an infrared yarn technology that enhances tissue oxygen levels and improves recovery. The comfort layer consists of three inches of polyfoam over two inches of gel memory foam. The support core consists of six inches of pocketed coils over one inch of high density polyfoam. The Bear Hybrid falls at about a six out of 10 on the firmness scale, making it a medium firm mattress. The mattress has a hybrid feel, so it's meant to be the best of both worlds, both inner spring and foams. It doesn't conform as much to the sleeper as a traditional memory foam bed and is responsive, so it's got a little bit of bounce like people expect from an inner spring bed. To measure support, we look at the spinal alignment of all of our three sleepers when sleeping on their side. As you can see, the mattress supported our light and average sleepers very well, and a little less so for our heavier weight sleeper. To assess motion isolation, we put our heavy weight sleeper Neil on one side of the bed and a glass filled with water on the other. As you can see, when Neil moves around the other side of the bed, there is some movement in the water in the glass due to the fact that this is a little bit of a bouncier mattress, but the two layers of foam on top do help absorb some motion. We found the edge support on the Bear Hybrid to be weaker than most hybrid mattresses on the market. All three of our sleepers felt that they experienced more sinkage when sitting on the edge of the bed than they expected and didn't feel as supported when sleeping close to the edge of the bed, especially when they were switching sleep positions. Using our 2D and 3D pressure mapping tools, we're able to tell just how much a mattress can relieve pressure on the sleeper's body. We found that the Bear Hybrid did a very good job of relieving pressure across all three of our sleepers. You will see just a little bit of pressure on the hips and shoulders, but it's very good overall. When assessing temperature neutrality, we found that the Bear Hybrid mattress does a very good job of staying temperature neutral due in large part to its construction. The pocketed coil support core helps improve airflow throughout the mattress and the salient fiber in the cover doesn't hurt. Now, let's check in with our sleepers. Okay, Charles, what'd you think of the Bear Hybrid mattress? I like it, actually. It's a little firmer for my taste than normal, but the top of it has enough uh, cushioning to it. I liked it. Um, I felt well supported. It was also had kind of a cushy top, so pretty comfortable. I really liked it. It has tons of support underneath, so I felt really good. How'd you feel about sleeping close to the edge of the bed? I did have a little bit of fear of rolling off. If I rolled a little too far one way, I feel like I might fall. Once you get right on the edge, you're in the danger zone. Got it. Well, thanks so much, Charles. Now let's take a look at how the Bear Hybrid stacked up in our mattress tests. This mattress has a hybrid feel, so it's a little less conforming and there's a little more bounce and responsiveness. Support was very good for light and average weight sleepers and good for heavyweight sleepers. Motion isolation was good and edge support was fair. Pressure relief was very good for all three sleeper weights. And lastly, temperature neutrality was very good. A few takeaways from our mattress testing. If you prefer the feel of an all foam or a traditional memory foam bed, the Bear Hybrid is not gonna be for you. We found the edge support on the Bear Hybrid to be lacking compared to other hybrid models. If you're looking for a budget option, so sub $1,000 or even sub $500, the Bear Hybrid is not gonna be for you as this is their more premium model which comes with a bit of a higher price tag. We recommend the Bear Hybrid mattress for those that live an active lifestyle. 
Bear actually constructed this mattress with those folks in mind, especially with the use of Salient technology in the cover. We also recommend the Bear Hybrid for back sleepers. Our testing team all found it to be particularly comfortable in that sleeping position. Here's some additional information you'll want to have if you're considering purchasing this mattress. It comes with a 100 night sleep trial, ships free, and comes with a 20 year warranty. For the best discounts and most up-to-date pricing information, check the description below or visit the written review on tuck.com. That's it for our Bear Hybrid Mattress Review. Please do us a favor and give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Sleep well.